My name is Andrew Nyamayaro. I'm a solicitor at Tan Law Solicitors. Please subscribe um, to our YouTube channel, Tan Law Solicitors. Today I'm here to give you five updates about immigration developments in the United Kingdom. Number one, care dependence. The government announced in the United Kingdom that care dependence from spring next year, 2024, will no longer be able to come to the United Kingdom to join the main visa holders. However, the government have issued uh, more information on this and they've clarified that the dependence of the people that already have a care visa that are on the skilled worker visa as a carer, senior carer or just carer, can still be able to bring their dependence anytime uh, they are able to do so. However, those ones who will be granted care visas from spring next year will no longer be able to bring their dependents. So those who hold the care visa at the moment need not panic because they can bring their dependents at any time. Number two, IHS, Insurance Health Surcharge. The government again announced that the Insurance Health Surcharge is going to go up uh, in 2024. This is still developing news because the government um, has now moved the dates, as we understand, from the 4th of January up to the end of January to uh, effectively make this change. We hope that the change will not be made, but if it is going to be made, it will be hope hopefully from um, the end of January going forward. If you wish to make a visa application or if you are eligible to extend your visa application, please kindly do so before um, the 31st of January as the IHS might go up. Those who are on the care visa will not be affected because at the moment they are exempted from paying the IHS. We have also been uh, asked a lot of questions on what is called sole responsibility and that is my third point. Sole responsibility means that the parent or guardian or custodian has got all the responsibility regarding a child that is under the age of 18. If the person is uh, over 18 years, even if they're your child, they do not qualify to, for a visa application as a child, unless if there's exceptional and compassionate circumstances, which is quite uh, difficult to prove to the Home Office. So for sole responsibility, it means that you have all the responsibility, financial, moral, spiritual, Anything, any decisions that needs to be made uh, for that child belongs to you. And I have seen applications whereby some applicants or sponsors have included details of the estranged parent or the parent remaining behind. And this obviously affects the application because that does not show sole responsibility, but it shows a shared or a joint responsibility. So sole responsibility means that you are, you are the person who has got all the decision powers um, for that child. And if you want help, obviously we can help you as Tan Law solicitors. A number of applications have been refused by the Home Office and uh, the people have been asked to make what is called administrative review. As point number four, please note that administrative review can only be done if there is case working uh, errors but not and not any challenges based on the merits of the case so if your application was not strong enough in the first place then there's no point of um, submitting an administrative review you might consider just making a fresh claim uh, or a fresh application rather than making an administrative review so um, an administrative review also takes around six or so months at the moment to be decided a new application takes around three or four three or four weeks or even less depending on the country so sometimes if you want a decision as early as possible it might be rather better to make a fresh application unless if that cannot be done because the points raised um, needed administrative review for example where deceit or dishonesty or use of wrong papers or, or um, caseworking errors have been made finally my last point is point number five, financial requirement. At the moment, uh, for someone to bring a partner or a children or a dependents to the United Kingdom on all of the um, 
visa visa applications uh, except the skilled worker care health and social care visa um, you have to prove that you have got uh, an earning capacity of 18,600 as a general rule there's other ways of proving your income uh, you know like being self-employed um, and uh, if you have got savings if you if you if you receive PIP uh, or care allowance but um, if you are employed or earning income then you are looking at 18,600 at the moment the government has indicated that this figure will go up from 18,600 to around 38,000 and there has been confusion as how this will be implemented um, it looks like the government is saying it will be implemented um, in stages from 18,600 to another figure and then another figure and ultimately to 38,000 uh, or so so at the moment if you want to bring your partner spouse children and you are not bringing them on their health and care visa uh, the social um, the care visa uh, you have to consider making the application as soon as possible before you'll be uh, affected by this change at turn law solicitors we specialize in a number of areas of law uh, including immigration family wills and probate dispute resolution and uh, we are also concentrating on advice to small and uh, medium-sized businesses that we are giving ad advice to. We are also um, specialists in making compliance audit visits for businesses that hold sponsor licenses. And if you require our services, please do not hesitate to contact us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where we post uh, all most of the updates that we do. And we've got a Telegram page as well, a Telegram um, page that we do post our regular updates as well. Thank you.